This is my entry for Jamie and Uncle Ben's search for a food tube star. Pretend you just got up in the morning on a Saturday. What do you do? Obviously, you're a little bit hungry, and you might just have leftovers. Hi, buddies. My name is Meyer, and you're watching Empty Calories. Today, I want to share a small story you might find resonates with your life. Last night, or maybe uh, tonight, you have some friends over, or a friendly friend over, and you might have chicken and rice, which is a very standard dish. But then, you know, things get a little carried away. That friendly friend might have stayed over for a sleepover, or maybe your guests just haven't left and you need to feed them to send them on their way. What do you do? You only have leftovers in your fridge and eggs. And so here's what I think you should do to be a great host. Make yourself an egg thing. Eggs go with everything and this could be breakfast or brunch or whenever you wake up and decide to make it. What do you need to make an egg thing? Well, you're gonna need eggs. Huevo. Chicken period. Duh. I'm gonna use four in this recipe. Do condiments or sauces that you might have on hand, vegetables and spices that you might have, aromatics, some, some leftover chicken, some brown rice, a little bit of wine that you might have had last night, and no seasoning because everything was already seasoned from the night before. I mean, you can add a little salt or pepper. Almost everything but your kitchen sink is in this because anything can go into an egg thing. Making a mise en place means you get everything that you need ready for your dish beforehand. That way you can focus on cooking when you are over a hot stove. It doesn't just magically happen. Let's get started. When you're cooking, make sure you remember to wash your hands. With warm and soapy water, get everywhere and in between, because that's where it really counts. Um, so, debone your chicken. You just want the chicken meat. Chicken skin is a good thing. If you want the recipe for this, I can't give it to you because my friend made it. But it has a lot of spice on it. It's just minced garlic that you can find in your supermarket. Um, I like a good heaping tablespoon, a teaspoon. I'm trying to build up my favorite flavors, and so that includes some green onions. In my house, we have them already pre-cut and we just froze them. You can get them when they're in their peak or when they're on sale. And that way, you can save some money. Another thing we can add is some cheese, some tomato. So, here's a zester, a microplane. If you don't have one of these, you can find them in the Christian Superstore. I also didn't mention it, but if you haven't done so already, make sure you wash everything. Zest the lines. Don't go too far in, or else then you're going to get a very bitter taste. We just made a mise en place together, and it's a great thing. I'm going to show you my trick for eggs. Use mugs. Instead of cracking them like this, Gonna crack it just like Jacques Pepin has suggested. So we're gonna do this. I don't know if you can see it, but we're gonna open it like that. Ooh, eggy egg. Ta-da! That's pretty good. Why in a box? Put a splash or two in. Two. Just like you would with water or milk. I'm gonna use some. Uh, some mustard. Here's another tip. When you have yolks, uh, make sure that you pop them with a fork. With our meat on plaque of everything that we've put together and a little bit of rice, we're ready. You're gonna need a pan, preferably non-stick skillet such as this. We need to heat our pan, so just put it on like a six and stick some butter in there. I like to put about a table, a small teaspoon or two. Work quickly. I just put in some garlic and some chicken, and we're just gonna fry it up a little bit so it gets nice and toasty, and then we're gonna add everything else in one at a time. We're gonna put everything on high now because um, I don't wanna wait. So we're adding the rice. Browning up really nicely. All that brownness is caramelization. You want everything to be nice and brown, that's where you get all those flavors. It's gonna splatter a little bit, but you know, c'est la vie. Remember there was chicken, so we used up the chicken, we used up the garlic, now we have some tomatoes left. This is all the way a little bit. We're gonna flip the tomatoes over. See, ooh, that's a nice caramelization. Want some color, because color equals flavor. Let everything uh, cook off a little bit. Now we get a little bit of brown on the tomatoes, and now everything's starting to burn a little bit, but that's okay, because now we're gonna turn everything down. And now we're gonna throw it in the whole last bit. So the eggs. With the mustard and the wine, which you might have a little thumb last night. 
or maybe you just have it in your egg. Make sure that you stir everything around a little bit. Scrape the edges. Oh, and you can just smell the wine. It's quite lovely. We're gonna throw everything else in. So that green onion that we were talking about, this would be where you add it in. That way you get the maximum flavor with a little bit of that lime zest. Yes. Now sprinkle it around everywhere like a little pizza. Okay, ooh, yes, hello. And now a little bit of cheese. It's almost done. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, yes. It's like a hash. Now, here's how I would put it on a plate. That. And do a little bit of a flip. Ta da! There you go. Two people would share this. It's perfectly cooked. Isn't that delicious? Yum. Woo! They say never to trust a chef that never tastes any food or that's a little too skinny. Well, I can assure you I am not too skinny and I'm going to taste this dish and give it my approval. Okay, egg thing, meat mouth. So here's a corner bit. Smells a little bit whiny. Mmm. Try this at home yourself, it's so good. So you can see little flecks of um, green onion and the lime bits. Mmm! The lime with the white chardonnay. My name is Meyer, you've just watched Empty Calories and I just had a bite of the most delicious egg thing I've ever made. Well, maybe not the most delicious thing I've ever made, but something really, really great. We've reached the end. I've shown you all the steps that you can take to make your own egg thing. Feel free to substitute everything. Uh, so the chicken, you can use beef or turkey or whatever. The eggs are hard to substitute. And don't be afraid to mix flavors. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out greatly. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of me trying foods or showing different recipes that I like to make. Feel free to watch any of my other videos that involve tasting other food or making other recipes. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on YouTube at N. T calories. I usually try not to eat food that's spicy in front of people, and now there's gonna be tens of thousands of people possibly looking at this video of me starting to sweat profusely from eating the spicy chicken. Spicy chicken is great, not if you're in front of the camera. Oh my goodness gracious, Yan, yes, it's so hot. Oh, I shouldn't put so much chicken in. Oh, but it's so good. Pick me! Pick me!